in this session we will discuss the integration of sine and cosine functions so this uh, in the previous chapter 14 we have uh, discussed the differential so we take the differential of dy dx of sine x we get cos x and whenever we take the co differential of cos x we get minus sine x similarly dy by dx of sine ax plus b is obtained as a cos ax plus b and for uh, cos ax plus b differential of cos ax plus b is obtained as minus a sine ax plus b so now integrate the cos x we get this sine x plus c and when diff integrate sine x we get minus cos x plus c similarly cos ax plus b is obtained as integral of cos ax plus b is obtained as sine ax plus b uh, divided by a plus c sine ax plus b is uh, minus cos x ax plus b divided by a plus c so we will use this uh, rules here in this exercise 15.5 so we have uh, this uh, question number one and two. So let's start this. Uh, question number one a sine four x dx is equal to minus cos four x divided by four plus c. Similarly, cos two x is equal to sine two x divided by two plus c. And uh, now two cos two x minus seven dx. This is obtained as two is uh, this two is same as here and this cos x is uh, sin x 2x minus 7 and then this 2 will appear in the denominator and this 2 will cancel with this one plus c so sin x 2x minus 7 plus c is the resultant so similarly this question number 2a 1 minus sin x dx is uh, obtained as this is uh, dx is x and this uh, minus sin x is minus cos x and this minus sin is this so this is x plus cos x plus c and this is under root x minus 2 cos 3x dx so this x is obtained as x power half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 minus this 2 will be here and this cos x is obtained as sine 3x divided by 3 plus c now this can be write down as 2 upon 3 x power 3 upon 2 minus 2 upon 3 sine 3x plus c and uh, now this is uh, power 2x minus 5x sine 2x dx now this part is obtained as e power 2x divided by 2 minus 5 is here and this sine 2x is obtained as minus cos 2x divided by 2 plus c so this minus minus become can plus and 5 upon 2 is here e power 2x plus c so e power 2x upon 2 plus 5 upon 2 cos 2x plus c is the uh, integral of this function Similarly, the y. Uh, let's solve question number three. Uh, a curve is such that dy by dx is equal to cos x minus sin x. Given that the curve passes through the point this pi by two comma three, find the equation of the curve. So we have to find the equation of the curve, and the curve is also passing through. Uh, pi by 2 uh, comma 3 so question number 3 dy by dx is this now integrate this y is equal to cos x minus sin x dx and we will integrate this cos x become sin x and this sin x is become minus cos x and this minus sin make it plus so sin x plus cos x plus c is y this is integral and uh, since this pass line is a uh, passing through pi by 2 comma 3 so in place of uh, x we will place pi by 2 and y is 3 so y is equal to 3 sine pi by 2 cos pi by 2 plus c uh, cos pi by 2 is 0 and sine pi by 2 is 1 plus c c is equal to 2 now y is equal to sine x plus cos x plus 2 is the required curve now question number Uh, 6. A curve is such that d uh, double, double uh, derivative of y divided by dx square is equal to 45 cos 3x plus 2 sin x given that dy by dx is equal to minus 2 when x is equal to 0 and that the curve passes through the point pi minus comma minus 1 find the equation of the curve. 
so we have the second derivative given here and dy by dx is minus 2 when x is equal to 0 so this information will be used here so a dy double derivative is this 45 cos 3x my dy by dx minus 2 when x is equal to 0 so curve passes through the pi minus 1 and dy by dx is equal to uh, so taking the integral of this so this becomes dy by dx is equal to 45 cos uh, is a sine 3x divided by 3 uh, this is 2 and sine x becomes minus cos x plus c now dy by dx is this and uh, this 3 you cancel this and this becomes 15 sine 3x minus 2 cos x plus c since uh, uh, this value is given at dy by dx is minus 2 and x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 equal to 0 and this is minus 2 so on placing x is equal to 0 this is 0 so this is 1 minus 2 c is equal to 0 so dy by dx is uh, 15 sin x minus 2 cos x so uh, we take the integral here again so y is equal to 15 sin 3x so sin 3x becomes minus cos 3x divided by 3 and minus 2 cos x is obtained as sin x plus uh, constant here we, since we have taken c here so here we are taking d this is again a constant so just to make it different so minus 5 uh, cos 3x minus 2 sin x plus d now since uh, this equation is passing through pi comma minus 1 so the minus 1 is here and uh, pi is here on substituting we have obtained d is equal to minus 6 now the curve is minus 5 cos 3x minus 2 sin x and this d is minus 6 so this is the required equation of question number 6 now solve uh, Question number 8. The point pi by 2 comma 5 lies on the curve for which dy by dx is equal to 4 sin 2x minus pi by 2. So this is a point lies on the curve for which dy by dx is this. Find the equation of the curve. So we have to find the equation of the curve. Uh, this point lies on the curve. So find the equation of the normal to the curve at point where x is equal to pi by 3 so we we'll solve it for d so this is uh, question number uh, 8 so dy by dx is equal to 4 sin 2x minus pi by 2 point lies on the curve. Uh, so y is equal to uh, this uh, curve derivative integral is 4. Uh, this sign is minus cos 2x minus pi by 2. And this 2 is up here here plus c. So y is equal to this is minus 2 cos 2x minus pi by 2 plus c. And uh, since this point lies on the curve, so uh, in place of x, you write pi by 2 and here we have this 5. So as a result, c is equal to 5 and y is obtained as minus 2 cos 2x minus pi by 2 and plus 5. So this is the required curve. The equation of the normal to the curve at pi by 3. So this is the equation of a line. Uh, of normal to the curve so uh, this is uh, minus uh, uh, dy by dx is uh, obtained as force sin 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 2 this is pi by 3 place it here as a result dy by dx is obtained as dy by dx is obtained as this so dy by dx is obtained as 2 so the this is the tangent uh, gradient of the tangent so the gradient of the normal would be minus 1 over 2 so this is minus 1 over 2 as a result the at x y by 3 y1 value will be uh, minus under root 3 plus 5 so we will use it minus this y minus y1 minus 3 
under root plus 5 here and this is minus half x minus pi by 3 this is x1 is pi by 3 and on simplification we have obtained this result minus half x plus pi by 6 plus 5 minus under root 3 so this is the resultant uh, equation of normal to the 